Now, when we hear the word Himalayas, places like Kashmir, Spiti, Ladakh, Himachal, and Uttarachal they come to our mind, and we tend to ignore and overlook an equally stunning and beautiful landscape in the northeastern part of our country. And that is the place we'll be discovering with a new version of a model that has set benchmarks in the sub four meter compact SUV market in India. Friends, welcome to Car Talk. Welcome to beautiful Arunachal. Welcome to Bamla Pass at 15,200 feet above mean sea level. This is the highest motorable pass that is open to civilians in this part of the country. And what better way to come to this pass from Guwahati than in a car like this? Our journey from Guwahati started two days back when we took the keys of the new Thunder Edition. Day 1 saw us driving almost 300 kilometers to the city of Bomdila in Arunachal Pradesh. We took the shorter and far more scenic route once we crossed over the mighty Brahmaputra. This route would take us next to the Bhutan border and was devoid of traffic and gave us ample opportunities to capture this new Ford in motion. The drive took us about 7 hours and thanks to a late morning flight, we entered Bomdila post sunset but we were welcomed by light showers. We had just about 180 kilometers to go today, but the scenic route it was to be decided to leave Bomdila early. However, we were in for a surprise with roads that seemed to have disappeared long time back. Nevertheless, the thunder took all this by its side and we were soon greeted by lovely twisties and tarmac. This part of the country was beginning to immerse us with beauty. By early noon, we had scaled the first pass of the trip. Say hello to the Sela Pass. A scenic drive of almost 100 kilometers from Bomdila gets us to the mighty Sela Pass. At an altitude of almost 14,000 feet above mean sea level, it is the gateway towards Tawang and Bamla. The pass also has a lake which is famously called as the Sela Lake but in local language it's called the Lalai Tong So quite beautiful with the reflections of the peaks around. Now as you saw our drive from Bomdela was quite interesting a mix of scenic views and adventurous routes. From here from the Sela Pass we go towards Tawang and that is where we finally introduce you to the changes done in this edition of the Ford EcoSport. So guys stay with us for the next few minutes. We did spend a good hour here, soaking in the views, taking the detour next to the lake and then heading ahead to more beautiful locations like this one. But more was in store for us as we took another detour before reaching Tawang. This time to the isolated Jung Falls. What location! Situated at 9,000 feet above mean sea level, we woke up to beautiful views of Tawang the next day. This place is famous for the Tawang Monastery and this is where we headed to for taking blessings before driving towards the Indo-Chinese border. So as promised, before we leave Tawang for Bamla and the lake, we'll be introducing the Thunder edition of the Ford EcoSport. Now this one is based on the titanium version, but of course has a lot of additions to add value to the customers. In terms of exterior changes, 
black is the theme over here. For example, the black finish on the hood, which also has a practical function. This one, when you're driving under the sun in the afternoon, it prevents the sun's glare and the reflections onto the windscreen. And then the grille is all black with the blue Ford logo. You have black masking for the fog lamp surrounds and more black on the lower part of the bumper. You also have a black effect on the inside of the headlamps. Looks very cool. Of course, this one, like the other EcoSport models in the mid and the higher versions, also gets DRLs up front. On the side profile, the talking point about here are the 17-inch alloy wheels. Again, have an all black finish. And do know that none of the other versions in the EcoSport lineup now get 17 inches. Only this one has the 17-inch setup. The tyres are from Bridgestone and the width is 205 millimeters. There is also black effect for the side mirrors. You have black sticker work and thunder embossing on the side cladding. The roof of course is all black. There is a sunroof and at the back there are two main talking points. Now our journey towards the Bamla Pass and Madhuri Lake will continue but before that let's show you the cabin of the Thunder Edition. Now this one is based on the titanium trim which means you do get a lot of features. For example, powered outside mirrors, a climate control, a proper driver info display and so on. And because you're spending so much more over titanium version, Ford is also throwing in a lot of kit. This includes the safety pack of electronic brake assist, electronic stability control, traction control and even hill launch assist. And then the interiors have a very cool looking black and cognac finish for the seats and the door pads. The seats also have a red finish for both the front ones and the second row. And then Ford is also offering you a sunroof which is a must have for millennials. On the front, when you open the front two doors, you also notice the EcoSport embossed scuff plates. At the back, there is a change. This one, the Thunder Edition has a 60-40 split for the rear seats and also a cup holder on the armrest. Now, like the other EcoSport models, this one also does not get rear AC vents, but trust us, this aircon is a chiller. We have had an EcoSport in Delhi for three months as part of a long-term review and in spite of the Delhi's peak summer heat, the AC was a chiller for both the front passengers and the rear ones. Now, in terms of the powertrains on offer, there is no change. The Thunder is available with the choice of two engine options, a 1.5 petrol and a 1.5 diesel, the one we're driving right now. Uh, when we got the car a few days back in Guwahati, it had less than 1,200 kilometers on the odometer. A brand new car and yet the gear shift action, the clutch action is really nice. Now, this engine is known for its superb NVH levels, the noise, vibration and harshness levels, and that remains unchanged. In fact, in normal driving scenarios with the windows up and the AC running, it's hard to tell if it's a diesel motor under the hood. It is that good. The engine is also known for its seamless power delivery. There is no turbo lag, no rush of power coming in like some of the other rivals. And this makes driving on hilly terrains a very pleasurable uh, experience. In fact, uh, there is no, uh, no dearth of torque or power available. There is enough ample poke in the engine so yes, in terms of uh, engine and the performance, it, it is sorted. Dynamically, there is a bit of a change. Now, the Thunder Edition is the only version in the entire EcoSport lineup to now offer you 17-inch alloy wheels. The other models have 15 inches or 16 inches, but this one has 17-inch alloy wheels. Uh, these add to the handling bit, especially when you're going around long frame corners like this one, you get some extra amount of feedback coming back from the steering. But of course, at the cost of right quality, I do agree that potholes, undulations, you know, broken tarmac, you can feel them easily and you have to take it easy on such terrains. But that's a small payoff for what offers you better handling than the other models of EcoSport. And these also look bling on the outside. Bamla is about 40 kilometers from Tawang and though the first half greets you with good tarmac, the last 15 kilometers are tough and treacherous. The views, however, more than make up for this. Only six cars were given the permit this day and this meant the route was isolated but breathtaking at the same time. You need to walk the last 500 meters and we did so before leaving the EcoSport Thunder in the empty parking grounds. From here on, an army jawan escorted us to the last point.
So we finally come to the last point where Indians are allowed. Behind me is the Chinese territory. This is the Bamla Pass, 15,200 feet above mean sea level. It doesn't get better than this. With the naked eye, I can see the camps which are under the Chinese control and around here is where the war of 1962 happened. Of course, the eco sport, the car that got us here is in the parking lot, not allowed to be taken at this point. Uh, the feeling is very great. You, the, the patriotism comes out, you have goosebumps on your arms, lovely place, but the journey goes on, the video will go on. So guys, stay with us for the next few minutes. Yes, the journey indeed had to go on because we had another northeastern marvel ahead of us, the Madhuri Lake. But before we got here, the views kept becoming even better. We drove past enthusiastic messages painted by the Indian Army, came across the secret Tisri Udasi Gurdwara and then ran into a small herd of yaks. Moments later, the day finally came to an end. And that brings us to the end of this journey. Now the final leg from Tawang to this place has been beautiful, mesmerizing, gorgeous, inviting, adventurous. I'm literally running out of words. There were no roads, but the views, the views around were simply, simply breathtaking. And of course, our experience, our meet with the pastoral and his herd of yak, that was something I will never ever forget. Anyways, back to the car, the Ford EcoSport Thunder Edition. Now this one can be used for 10.18 lakh rupees extra room daily for the 1.5 patrol or 10.68 lakh rupees for this one, the 1.5 diesel, the one we have been driving for the last few days. As an overall package for a car that provides you good dynamics, looks beautiful, stunning, muscular and of course the interior fit and finish quality I think is difficult to match the Thunder in the segment of premium sub 4 meter compact SUVs. From us at Car Talk, it's a big thumbs up to this new version. Now, what do you feel about the Ford EcoSport and the Thunder Edition? And of course, what do you feel about beautiful Arunachal? Let us know in the comment section below, guys. And of course, to continue to watch such videos from the Indian automotive industry, you know what to do. Subscribe to our channel.